know, I'm not trying to, to have people rubberneck, but they do stop and they're like, what's going on? I've had funny calls from the police. They get calls saying like, hey, someone's vandalizing a box. And like, oh no, that's a talent artist. He's doing exactly what he needs to be doing. If I can have someone stop for a second and admire just something so little as a, a box, I think that's like the first step to kind of like provoke some creativity or just something. My name is Joel Aguilar and I am uh, an artist here in Livingston. Uh, Livingston is a small town, very family oriented here. When people think of California, you know, they think, oh, palm trees and uh, Hollywood, but you know, I'm proud to, to say, you know, this is like the cow town of it, but we are definitely fighting for a better tomorrow. I'm, I'm from Livingston and I want to provide like my services to this community. Anything that I can do to help my community and just add a little bit of color to it, that's how it kind of started. We have a lot of utility boxes all over town. They're gray and green, not, not sightly at all. And uh, so we gave him some, some paint brushes. He started to be very creative and come up with some really nice artistry in all these different places. So we're very, very happy. So I wanted to kind of make people stop because one of the most biggest competitions for me is how, how can I get people from looking not on their phones and starting to look around and seeing these murals but it's funny that you actually have citizens you know residents that are calling just to make sure like hey this guy's uh think he's vandalizing our town <laughs> they're not just like cute boxes either I'm trying to uh, talk about through my art about my culture my community and a little bit of art history too even though if it sounds like cliche and stuff later on in the future if you keep on pushing and pushing yourself to towards that dream like you're gonna get there like I didn't think I would be doing this you shouldn't just have it bottled up in your mind like if you have good creativity like let it let it out and I think that's the one thing that always brings me back to just picking up a brush and just get to work.